Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Tuesday, September 8th. During this time of pandemic, we are trying new things, and so Tuesday Morning Prayer will be coming to you from the Edwards household in Sherwood Park. Um, and we'll be representing actually two denominations, so and two churches, Holy Trinity, Anglican Church, and my husband, who's the pastor at Good News Moravian Church, but I'll let him introduce himself. Hey, my name's Ian Edwards. As I've been said, I am the pastor at Good News Moravian Church in Sherwood Park. And you may notice that I'm working off my computer with headphones on. That's because I'm using the uh, voiceover screen reader for the blind running through my computer. So that's how I interact with the words and we'll be reading them today. Let us begin. This morning we remember the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Joy and gladness will be found in her, thanksgiving and the voice of song. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is our refuge and our strength. O come, let us worship. Together we will pray a portion of Psalm 63. O God, you are my God. I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. I will lift up my hands and call on your name. My soul is satisfied as with a rich feast, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I think of you on my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. The Lord is our refuge and our strength. O oh, come, let us worship. Our first reading is taken from the prophet Isaiah. Their descendants shall be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exalt in the God, for he has clothed me, clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with a garland and as a bride adorns herself with the jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garden cause what is, grow, what is sown to grow up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Together we will say a portion of Psalm 132. We heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Ja'ar. Let us go to his dwelling place. Let us worship at his footstool. Rise up, O Lord, and go to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. This is my resting place forever. Here I will reside, for here I desired it. I will abundantly bless its provisions. I will satisfy, satisfy its poor with bread. Its priests I will clothe with salvation, and its faithful will shout for joy. There I will ca cause a horn to sprout up for David, I have prepared a lamp for my anointed one. His enemies I will clothe with disgrace, but on him his crown will gleam. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to Je you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. 
He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. The Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's hear a bit about this day. A legend dating from the second century tells the story about the birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Once upon a time, there was a Jewish couple named Joachim and Anne. They were elderly, and their neighbors reproached them for not having any children. But God heard Anne's laments and sent an angel to her. You shall conceive and bear, and your offspring shall be spoken of in all the world. Anne responded, As the Lord my God lives, if I bear a child, whether male or female, I will bring it as a gift to the Lord my God, and it shall serve him all the days of its life. And so it came to pass that Anne conceived, and when the time was fulfilled, she gave birth to a daughter and named her Mary. Both parents vowed to dedicate their child to the service of God, and when she was three years old, they presented her in the temple at Jerusalem. And the high priest placed Mary on the third step of the altar, and the Lord God put grace upon the child, and she danced with joy for her feet. She danced for joy with her feet, and the whole house of Israel loved her. Such is the legend of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we continue to tell the story because it bears witness to a deeper truth of faith, that Mary herself was the daughter of Israel's hope and the child whose own offspring would fulfill the longing of the whole family of creation. Now let us together affirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I invite you to assume whatever posture you find most prayerful as we pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray the collect of the day. Eternal God, who revealed the mystery of your loving providence in the birth of Mary, the mother of our Lord, grant that we who now call her blessed may be clothed, clothed with the light of your new creation and rejoice with her in the radiance of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Savior taught us, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and grant us peace.
Amen.